On today's video, we're going to talk about no more subscriptions. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me once again. We've been talking about the Blink uh, camera system for a few videos now, and a great number of you have been talking to me or asking questions about how to uh, have your Blink without paying a subscription price. Well, you can do that, you really can. It's very simple to do. But when you do that, you're going to miss out on a few perks that are offered by uh, a cloud plan. Now, there are a number of features, and I'm going to put a link below uh, to the actual Blink website, and you'll be able to see a side-by-side -side comparison of what's available with the subscription and what's available without. When you use Blink's uh, cloud service or Amazon's cloud service, you're going to have are the thumbnail pictures of your footage, the thumbnail pictures, it will show you a, snap, a snapshot of what's being seen in that recording. Now, when you do a local recording, that's when you're not gonna have the thumbnail anymore, but you'll, you'll see the recording there, but you won't have that. You'll see what time it was recorded and the date and everything, but just not a thumbnail. Now, I've had my Blink uh, system now uh, since uh, maybe over a year now. Uh, maybe in June of last year. And so it's, it's pretty well, I enjoy it. There are some features that I could do away with, some other features I would like to have more of, but all in all, it's a pretty good system. All right, so let's talk about how to use your Blink without a subscription plan, all right? So the first thing you wanna notice, you wanna grab your module and make sure it has a side port on there uh, that allows you to, to plug in a thumb drive, a thumb drive. Now, Know this as well that the Blink system currently will support thumb drives from one gigabyte up to 256 uh, gigabytes. So you have that, that range, and I'll put a link down in the description area below uh, that will back that claim up. So you can, if you want to get the Blink drive from Amazon, you can. I think it's 64 gigs, or you can go all the way up to 256 gigs. Blink camera systems record a Blink, a shot. Um, so it's not a continual recording device. Now, if you need something that will record all the time, you don't want a Blink. Blink will record something in shots or in segments. It will record up to a maximum right now, I believe, of, of 60 seconds, and then you can have it to re-trigger after that. So go into the Blink app. Once you get to the Blink app, I need you to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen, right above right above where it says armed or disarmed. So at the very bottom of the screen. Right above that, you will see the words sync module. Now, click on the word sync module. Once you click on the word sync module, you will see at the very top, sync module, then a little bit further down, sync module is online, that should, your system should be online. And then you'll see local storage. Click on the local storage. Once you have that on your screen, then go ahead and take your, your flash drive. All right, so once you insert that into the side, into the side of your sync module, then you're gonna see it come up on the screen and it's going to say connected. And it's going to show you how much space is available, is available on that disk. And it will always show you how much space is available. So you'll have that running tally there. All right, so once you've done that and it's in place, let me show you how it actually looks so that you'll, you'll have that. Again, you'll see the, the time, or rather the day that it was taken and the time as well. You'll see the camera location, whether it's your porch or garage or whatever, living room, you'll have that location. And then you just simply uh, click on that. And you'll see when you click it, it will say, we're retrieving your clip. Hang tight, USB clips, take a little longer to load. You're gonna see that. That depends on your internet speed at home. Now, cloud, cloud, um, cloud reporting, of course, it's going to be a little bit faster because it's coming straight down. But when you're using local recording, it has to go to your house, access the information and send it back up to the servers and back down to you. So it's not too terribly long, but it is, does take longer than the cloud. All right, so same information there, and really, that's about it. Uh, so you just, it's gonna give you still, you're gonna get your notifications. I get my notification just fine. Wanna let me know that something is moved in that area, and then I can go back and check 
and see what that is. Now, let me give you this word of advice too. If you get a notification that something is moving in a particular area and you don't have the cloud support, if you click live when you get a notification, your system is not going to record. Okay, it only records live when you have the cloud. If you have, so if you don't have a subscription, if you see uh, a notification that motion is detected in the backyard, front yard, or what have you, if you click on that, you will see that live image. If something is happening then, then you can watch it then, but it's not recording. It's not recording. That's one of the drawbacks. If you let it record, then you'll have that footage. Now, there's one way of getting around that. If you download, uh, there are several screen recorder apps. If you, rec if you download one of those and record your screen, well then, you know, that's one way of getting around it too. At least you have the footage. But of course, then at that mo moment, you have to activate the app to record the screen and you know, it's gonna be that way. So that's, that's one of the drawbacks. Oh, so you no. really have to, it really all depends on your, the level of security that you need where you are. Okay, so if you need to record your screen at that moment, then maybe you want the cloud plan, or maybe you want another system altogether. There are other systems on the market that will allow you to record continually, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that will allow you to store uh, a terabyte, two terabytes, five terabytes of, of, uh, of video if that's what you need. So depending on what level you're on, if you're on an easygoing level, I just want to see the cat move around. I just want to see the dog move around the backyard. Well, then Blink is probably going to be okay for you. But if there's some serious activity going on around you, I would not get the Blink. I wouldn't get the Blink because you may need to see at that moment what's going on and you may need to react to it right away. Got me? All right. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I look forward to being back with you on the next time. All right. Talk to you next time. All right. Bye-bye. I also wanted to invite you to join me on the Kingdom Rock channel. I teach the Bible there, and I have a great time. So click this link, and I'll see you there. Or click this link for the next tech review.